What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to make a very simple animal AI, basically just roaming around the, the scene. It's going to be a very easy build to follow, so let's get started. But first, check out the link in the description to get our some Unreal Engine courses on Wayne Fox. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to need is basically some animal, um, you know, skeletons, animations and meshes. So in my case, I just have this pack from the marketplace, so today I'm going to be setting up this nice hippo. So the first thing that we're going to do is go ahead and create a new blueprint. This is going to be type character and then we're going to say BP for example um, hippo. So let's go ahead and open this up. So you will see that because we created from the, the character class we already have a mesh and a capsule component assigned and everything. So what we have to do is go to the mesh and assign here the hippopotamus or whatever your animal is of course and then we're going to go ahead and place it correctly. So let's see, minus 89, um, and then rotate it. And just go ahead and place it in your scene. Kind of like that will be good. So now what we're going to do is basically make that this AI can just walk around a certain area. So let's go ahead and delete everything in the event graph except for the begin play. And um, we're going to do is create a new custom event, which this will be just roam around so we're going to use this very handy um yeah, move to node which will basically allow the ai to just get the destination and move to it so the pound is going to be self basically it's going to be its uh, own object and then the destination will, will be a get random reachable point in radius so this will just get a random point in a certain radius. The origin is going to be like the starting point. So it's going to be the uh, get actor location. And then the radius is going to be on how much far uh, apart it's going to be able to just get a location. Let's say, for example, use 500. Of course, you can choose whatever values you want. I'm going to put some random ones. And then the acceptance radius is how close you want the AI to stop when it reaches the destination. So I'm going to make this uh, like 120 because normally it gets too close to its things. So then on success, I'm going to make it so it will go ahead and call again the roam around. So it will basically be a loop. But I'm just going to add a small delay of like, for example, uh, 1.2 seconds. So it will get to destination, wait uh, 1.2 seconds and then uh, roam around. And then what you have to do is call the roam around event from the begin play. So it will basically do this. So this will be the roam around AI. There we go. So now we can compile and save. So now we have to do one more last thing apart from dragging our AI into the scene to be uh, to allow the AI to move. So what we have to do is go ahead and add a nav mesh bounce volume. This will basically make uh, all the paths and all the areas that the um, AI will be able to go. So we can just set this into be in the zero of the scene and then set this to be like 50, um, yeah, 50, 50, and 50. Basically, how much uh, big you want to be. And then you can see that it has created this area over here, which is absolutely huge, but it's okay for this tiny scene. And when we press P, you will see that we can visualize all the areas that the AI can basically navigate through. So we can now press play and you will see that the AI will start to pick a random location, stop and go. Now there's a few things going on here. Basically, of course, first of all, we haven't got the animations working. We will just add them in a second and then basically it goes too fast and then like the turns are very snappy it doesn't look natural it doesn't basically look very good so what we have to do is go back into our blueprint and we're going to do is go into the class defaults and search for jaw so we're going to disable use control rotation jaw this is forcing the rotation of the basically the pawn into a very snappy place. So what we're going to do is select the character movement component and just go down and then use uh, enable use control the side uh, rotation. Now you can use enable uh, either of both also orient rotation to movement. But um, the thing is that uh, orient rotation to movement, even if the AI was going backwards and you want it to be facing forwards, it will change to be uh, facing backwards because it will always orient to this movement. But if we say use control this side rotation, it will rotate smoothly. And if you want to make like strafe um, combat things, like it will be 
facing forward going backwards you'll be a lot and anyway you can just choose whatever you want to be better for you so then what we're going to do is go and search the max walk speed and search it around uh 350 and then we can just compile and you will see that now the ai will basically go uh, now there's some things in the 5.1 you will see that the nav mesh bounce has been unloaded don't tell me why this happens just save everything and then just um reopen your map or scene and now it will be back loaded in and the thing is that i don't know why this happens but yeah in 5.1 is the thing but now you can see this moves uh slower and then also the turns are much smoother but it's still we have to add the animations so let's go ahead and add the animation so what we're going to do is create a new blue uh sorry animation blueprint so we have to choose now the hippo skeleton or whatever ai you're making it's going to be the abp hippo just go ahead and open this up now in here what we'll have to do is place the animations and etc so what we're going to do is create an animation we can go into legacy if you're in 5.1 if not it will appear here and then choose a blend space 1d then we'll choose the skeleton and then it's going to be the hippo blend space 1d basically i have a detailed tutorial on a blend space 1d so if you want to check it out i'll be linking it in the description but basically we can smoothly transition from different animations depending on a value which will setting into the speed so the orient sound to access will be basically the speed oh sorry speed and then the maximum access value will be the maximum speed on our character, which we will set up in to be um, 350. So this is what we're going to do. Let's say 350. And then we're going to just search the uh, idle animation for the hippopotamus. Now, I don't really know which one we can use. Chew, breathe. We can use yeah, chew, for example. And you put it into the left. And then we can get the, uh, I don't know, walk. There we go. And we have... Yeah, for example, this one, and you set it into the right. So now if I hold control and move the arrow, you can see that as the speed increases, it will transition from the idle animation into the walking animation. And it just looks awesome and it's very easy to make. So now what we can do is search our blend space and just drag it into our um, animation blueprint. And then another thing that we're gonna add is the default slot, just in case in the future you want to play animation montages and for example, attack. Now for that, I have a very uh, good uh, tutorial that I will be linking in the description on how to make a very simple enemy AI that will basically attack you and stuff. So I will be linking in the description, you want to add animations, but I will just leave it prepared in the future. So this is just a slot to be able to play animations from the blueprints, but we are not going to be using today. Anyway, we need to set the speed. So right click, promote to variable, and this will just add the, um, the speed. So now you can see that the, you know, <laughs> the hippo is in idle so if we set the speed to be for example um well 300 you will see that now he'll be walking but things that we have to basically set the um, this variable to change accordingly to the actual um you know uh velocity of the and speed of the uh, pawn in the scene so we're gonna go with the initialize animation and we're gonna get the pawn owner so what we're going to do is basically cast to the hippo blueprint and then what we're going to do is go ahead right click promote to variable i'm going to get the hippo so it's going to be basically the hippo blueprint so we're going to do it once in the begin play because casting is quite expensive and we don't want to do it in the update but now in the update we do need to get in every frame um the velocity so for that we're going to get character movement component which is on here and we're gonna zoom in there we go and then we're gonna get the velocity let's go down here we go but this is a vector so what we need to do is convert it into a vector length with this node so we can have it as a float so now what we can do is set the speed to be this over here so now we have to go into the uh, blueprint and what we have to do is select the mesh and now we can place the hippo um, animation blueprint and you will see that now if i press play the animations will be properly playing and you can see how he is moving now one more thing i have to do is just increase a bit the area that he can go the radius is very small so i'm going to put something quite big as um 2000 
just to have things uh, testing over here. And now you see that he is able to go, stop, move and stop with his animations. So yeah guys, that's it. If you enjoyed the tutorial and found it helpful, I really appreciate you looking at the video and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of Unreal Engine 5 tutorials like this one, so check them out. Also, check out the links in the description for awesome Unreal Engine courses. Now, yes, with all said, bye-bye.